Hi everyone, this is Heather Lautinen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to fix blown out skies inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free presets and actions we have available on our website. I'm going to begin by applying Susie's favorite preset to this image. And of course, the sky looks really blown out and rather boring. <laughs> there are two things to keep in mind when you're looking at skies. Number one, there are some skies that just cannot be fixed because the data is not present. Number two, shooting in raw gives you more latitude to alter these skies if the data is present. Okay, what do I mean by data? Well, let's begin by pressing K in order to access our adjustment brush. I'm going to pull down on the exposure and down on the shadows and a little bit down on the blue. And then I'm just going to brush over the sky and I'm gonna see what starts to happen. And obviously it does not look good. Let's go ahead and bring that exposure down a little bit further. So what you're seeing is the data that the camera was able to capture. And it's not very good because quite frankly, I blew the sky so far that I'm not able to recover it. So in an image like this, to be honest, I wouldn't adjust the sky. I'm just going to delete that adjustment and leave this image as it is. Now let's try this one. So same type of thing. I have my adjustment brush, the exposure is down, shadows are down, as is the temperature. As I brush over the sky, I can see that I'm, I have a little more data to work with. So I can pull down that exposure and you can see some of the sky coming out. Now in this case, I might try to enhance the sky just a little bit. And actually that's looking a little too blue. So let's take that temperature up and take a look at no sky and sky. I don't know, does it make enough of a difference to invest the time to fix it? Even though it only takes a few seconds, when I delivered these images, I did not fix the sky. Now let's take a look at one last image. Again, let's press K on the keyboard in order to access the adjustment brush. We'll make this brush a little bit bigger and just start brushing over this sky. This was a very stormy day. There was a lot of rain and that looks pretty good. If I look at the before, and after it maybe a little bit too blue again. You don't want to take it too far, it doesn't look natural. I think I like the way that looks if you look at the before and after. The thing again about fixing blown out skies is there has to be data present. If you shoot in JPEG or if you shoot in RAW and you blow the sky too far, then you're not gonna be able to recover any of that data. And the reality is I can't take this photo and make it look like it was taken during a beautiful sunset because it wasn't, it was a rainy, dreary day. And I believe that the images should reflect the environment that you're in. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.